Hello, welcome back to another video. Another video? And in this video we're going to answer some questions that we get, seem to ask quite a lot lately. Yes, about cooking and yep. Speci things. Yeah, specifically <laughs> um, our electrical system and how we use it to cook. Because apparently a lot of people say that every time they go on forums and they ask about cooking on electric, all they get is a load of nerds shouting, you can't do it, it's not possible, you'll break everything. And um, our system isn't broke, is it? That's how they speak on forums. Honestly, it is. You go on forums. Yeah, and that's how I speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bloody nerd. So. Anyway, yes. I don't want to go in depth into our electrical system because I've done other videos about that one. Right. Um, but needless to say that we've got a three kilowatt pure sine wave inverter, two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, um, and everything's specced up to basically run this type of equipment. Basically it's specced up to run my coffee machine and everything else has just been a bonus, hasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but um, yeah, as well as cooking stuff, uh, you can run hair straighteners, yep. hair dryer, um, that kind of stuff because that is another thing people say oh can I have a hairdryer in my van so first off remind people about your coffee machine and why it's so important for your life in the van this is my coffee machine it is a Nespresso Krups coffee machine this one I don't think they do anymore because I've had this coffee maker for about 10 years I should think yeah. and they still work to treat you just have to keep descaling it and looking after it and whatnot but it is just me that drinks coffee in the van John doesn't drink coffee at all so for me to be able to do a massive amount of coffee is not really important but to do one cup at a time is absolutely spot on yeah so moving along from first coffee of the morning to maybe first a bit of breakfast two coffees in the two morning. coffees, two coffees <laughs> in the morning. bit of breakfast bit of breakfast the so george foreman this george foreman it's the smallest one you can get it's about 20 quid and um and it's absolutely brilliant it's enough there you can get a full slice of bread or if you get the you know those lovely loaves from aldi like the bloomer loaf oh, you can yeah. actually get four slices of bread on there and cook them all at the same time oh, okay so i've done it with um i've cooked chicken southern fried chicken steaks and bacon and made them into wraps on there and then toasted the wraps afterwards um cheese toasties i think we lived, lived on cheese toasties we last weekend didn't we days, didn't <laughs> it was like, oh, i was so hungover so i need a cheese toasty so um, as far as what's on there what 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 760 watt max which is in all fairness pretty darn good for an electrical appliance like that mm. considering both sides of it obviously it cooks you it cuts your cooking time in half because yeah. you're cooking both sides at the same time so that to me is ingenious we've used yeah. it for all sorts of stuff haven't we so we have and love it we used it for cheese and onion pasties too yeah moving swiftly on <laughs> The induction hob. The induction hob. Which I think probably gets the most attention. Oh, you know what? Most this questions. is my new favourite thing. And yes, we were recommended this by one of our subscribers. And I love it because I cook inside with it. Or we plunk it out on a table with an extension lead outside, don't we? And yep. just I can cook outside. It's absolutely brilliant. What I love most about it is that you can choose the temperature or the wattage that you want this to run at. The what? What, what? 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 The wattage. What what wattage, yeah. Okay. Um and it starts at zero, which I've been told is very, very important because it is a two it goes up to two thousand watts and I've never used anything like that. I don't think I've even used a thousand watts yet. The reason why that's important is because if it started on its max power, two kilowatts, it might trip out a lot of inverters. Right. So the fact that when you switch it on it's almost at no power mm. is really crucial for most people's inverters. Yep. And if you're just simmering something, the two hundred watt, the lowest setting, is absolutely perfect. You can just hear it kicking in and out as it's going yep. along. Um, if you've got kids, there's a lock button. You just hit that lock button and you literally have to unplug it and plug it back in again. Um, there might be another way, but that's the way I've found. Um, as far as size-wise? But look at it, though. It's absolutely super slim. There's a finger for it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to use. There's a finger for it's comparison. Compact. Let's say it's, it is compact, it's compact. And it is so lightweight. It's yeah. super lightweight. I would say it's less than a kilo. Yep, and it's got a fan on the bottom, which does kick in and out when it gets nice and warm. And as you can see from that, 2,000 watts. That's its, That's max. its maximum. So, yeah, and, and it is really good. I was a little bit scared of using it because it's the magnetic thing. 
and yeah. my favourite frying pan still works on it, which is a bonus. But it works fine. There's loads of bits of metal around here, and it works absolutely, um, absolutely spot on. Yeah. So this is why we go with lithium because the amount of power that these things draw is quite extensive. Um, so if, say for example the uh, the induction hob there will. Ooh, that was a close <laughs> call. Wouldn't have been too cheeky. <laughs> Uh, the induction tub will pull 166 amps um, on 2000 watts and i probably say that if you haven't got anything like AGM batteries um, or lithium that that would pull too much power out of your standard um, lead acid batteries and your inverter would probably shut down because the voltage would be too low. So that's just something to bear in mind with the reason why we've got lithium is it just makes all this much easier. Yeah, um, and since then we've hardly, I mean, when was the last time we filled up with gas? We've still got five or six weeks ago, five I think. Five or six weeks ago, just don't we've still got a now. bottle and a half. It's just, we've hardly touched it. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. As you've seen from recent videos, like at the show we did recently, um, basically we're cooking outside, putting the induction hob on a table with an extension lead, and that was fine. It takes... 20 minutes on average to say to cook something yep i mean if you do two lots of toasties that's probably about 20 minutes isn't it yeah um so for each of us so we get four toasties each sort of thing um, and it takes about three to five percent out of the battery yeah the coffee takes about one percent out of the battery um and then if you're doing a full-blown meal on the pan and you're doing all that um that can maybe take around about sort of eight percent out of the battery if you're cooking constantly for like 20 minutes or so yeah um, and so. we found that it's like one of these little things for me, even though we have got power for days, I find that we cook the bigger meals in the middle of the day if the yeah. sun's shining, it's like, quick, it's sunny, let's eat. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's nice to know that your batteries are going to get topped back up again. Yeah, because I mean, obviously we've got a decent amount of solar now. We've got 660 watts of solar and a 50 amp solar controller. So on a really good day, we'll get 40 to 50 amps back in there from the sun. And then we're back up within sort of half an hour, 45 minutes, even if you've been using a little... Because, I mean, let's face it, you do sometimes, you make yourself a coffee while you're cooking as well, don't you? I do. So, um, Shocking, I know. I know. But... How dare you? <laughs> so, obviously, the, the one that's missing from this is the Instant Pot. Yeah. And to be fair, we've not really used that in this van for some time. So here's some of us from way back when. Tonight, tea in the van. It's courtesy of Mandy. And um, you all know that I don't cook. <laughs> so it's pointless me trying to tell you what Mandy's doing. So while well, she's setting up the Instant Pot, because I know some of you are interested in this Instant Pot, I'm going to run through the numbers. So the Instant Pot is 1.1 kilowatts, so 1100 watts, um, which at its peak is 66 amps. Now it doesn't run constantly at 66 amps. If you're cooking a proper meal that requires it to be at pressure, then the Instant Pot is it takes 10 minutes to get to pressure, is that right? Um, if you're not sauteing anything beforehand, then it's 10 minutes from right. cold. Okay, so that's 10 minutes at 66 amps of power it's gonna take out of your battery. Um, obviously you need an inverter to run it because it's 240 volts, 220 volts. Um, so you need to make sure your battery has the capacity to run 66 amps for 10 minutes. Um, and then after that, say the average one's about 25, 30 minutes, isn't it, that we cook for? I think that's the longest. Yeah. Yeah, Cause after, the actual cook time, yeah. Because after that, it kind of like keeps it at pressure, doesn't it, and then cooks it. Mm -hmm. So it's almost as if it's kind of just kicking in a little bit of power every few minutes. And I've monitored this on the app um, to see how much power it uses. And it is pretty much exactly that. So um, your 66 amps is what it will pull when it's on. So it's on constantly for 10 minutes. And then after that, depending on how long you need it on for, uh, it just goes on and off as and when. And what my calculation was for a 25 minute meal, which is the longest we cooked for last time, it used roughly um, 25 amps. So it's almost, a rough calculation would be an amp a minute of total cooking time and that's kind of how I would say is the easiest way to think of it. Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, right then. <laughs> so obviously that was the instant pot used in our last van, same principle, nothing's really changed. Uh, the only reason we've not really used it in this van so much is because, I don't know, I guess we've just changed our cooking styles or whatever. Yeah, I don't think I've done many instant putty type meals. Yeah. Um, I mean we've used it a little bit um, when we've been packed up and yeah. stuff but it's just been not so much on the road no it's just been little things boring things like 
boiling loads of eggs or mm. making sure you know pre-cooking jacket potatoes or so i think that really covers that much really doesn't it mm, nothing, nothing else, else cooking on electric no i think that's yeah. everything really yeah cool right then done yeah on to the next one done done and on, on to, to the, the next, next one. one we're done and under the next uh, one <gasps> cool right see you later folks Thanks for you guys bye, bye.